From the NB3 Rock Studio headquarters, this is your Roar 64 One Minute Memoir with your host, James Potter. The Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. The first time I saw Chuck Connors firing off a spray of bullets from his modified Winchester rifle, walking down a dirt road in some western town, I was hooked. That unflappable, no-nonsense, if looks could kill expression, not to mention the number of bad guys he just exterminated, was only trumped by his stoic, spincock rifle action, thanks to that unique large ring lever allowing for rapid fire. I gotta get that rifle, I told myself, as Christmas was just around the corner. I just turned nine and was absolutely transfixed by the rifleman's cool demeanor and could see myself walking up and down the sidewalk, twirling that rifle under my arm, discharging gunshot, of course enhanced by a full magazine of caps, earning the envy and admiration of every neighborhood kid. Christmas came and I was not disappointed. Made by Toymaker Hubley, I tore into the wrapping and packaging, revealing the holy grail of toy rifles. My first highly anticipated exercise was to spin cock this baby under my arm, followed by a volley of rapid fire shots. Sadly, no caps allowed in the house. Dum 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 da dum dum da da dum 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 played my inner soundtrack. Assuming the Chuck Connors pose grinning like a palomino, I took a couple of steps in my living room, kicking gift wrapping aside, twirling the rifle with abandon. Ouch! Oh no, the barrel was at least a half foot longer than my scrawny frame as there was insufficient clearance under my right armpit. Unwittingly, I switched to my left. Ouch! I was devastated. How could I assume the iconic rifleman pose and not spin the firearm like Chuck? By the time I grew into the gun's barrel dimension, I was 11 and living in Salt Lake City, Utah, when forthwith, my rifle became a closet fixture. And that is your Roar of 64 One Minute Memoir for this Monday, August 1st, 2016. I'm James Potter reporting from the NB3 Rock Studio. I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, journey to the center of the 60s at roarof64.com or nb3rocks.com. Either way, you can get there from here.